she had four, she has four pouches and one pouch has a hundred so you guys need to to write this down so and in fact let me give you a I'm journal gonna give line. you a journal page handout real quick so perfect All right, so everyone can edit this journal. And let's see, I need to, I'm going to put it up top. So it'll be called One Dash Party Journal. So, okay, it's up very, it's up at the very top of the, the handouts sheet. So everybody can modify this and everybody can see it. So, but the thing is, only one person can modify it because if more than one people, if one, more than one person tries to modify it, uh, it'll just start glitching the the text out that's been put in there some of it'll get saved so you guys need to communicate who's going to take care of the journal but this is what you guys found so one person needs to be in that journal writing this down so who wants to do that uh barry will do it considering he's dead so you got nothing else to do <laughs> all okay. right okay you're the man barry man i think you're like you're only like the second character that's actually died in one of my games man so yeah, the first it happens, baby. Yeah, the whole blazing, no questions asked. Let's just do it. Right. He went out like a champ. He, he did, took man. Like, what, three, four hits. He did. He took. I think he took his third hit. He went down. So, all right. So you have pouch one. Uh, there is 150 copper pieces. Pouch two has the same thing. Pouch three has 100 Electrum pieces. Then there are, in pouch 4, has 7 10 gold piece gems and 1 potion of healing. Uh, say pouch 4 again, I'm sorry. Pouch four is seven ten gold piece gems and one potion of healing. Okay, with my detect magic, can I check that potion of healing? to see if it does anything other than healing, if it has any other kind of magic involved with it? No, it just is a, just a plain normal potion of healing. I won't even make you do a arcana check for that, but you can just you can just tell it and just look at it and it's basically the same thing that had been given to you from the Paladin Istival. Okay. Right. I'm gonna look around on these boxes and stuff too while I'm here. Okay, you, you find like a you found a find a bunch of crates. Uh, the crates just have like grains. Uh, there's some. Uh, you, you actually you can you can find it. You found a healer's kit as well. I'll, I'll say that there's a healer's kit in there. So I think the healer's kit has. You'll have to look it up, but I think it's ten charges or fifteen uses of like bandaging or something like that. You'll have to look it up. Uh, so there's a there's a healer's kit in there, and just uh, several barrels of of rations, water, you know, just common stuff. Uh, okay. But there it has ten uses. But there is a there is a wheelbarrow there as well. Hmm. I'm gonna check the wheelbarrow then while I'm at it. Oh, is it's it empty. over here by me? No. Oh. It, yeah, it, it's empty. In fact, let me okay. uh, let me find a wheelbarrow token real quick. All right, guys, we got to put dude in wheelbarrow. That's why I put it there. <laughs> to wheel the wheel the dead corpse out of the marsh. And uh, I want to look at the guys and say, "Don't worry, guys. I know I picked up all the uh, all the golden copper or whatever, but uh, we're gonna split it equally, right?" Sure. That's up to you guys. You guys are the ones that are uh, doing the group. All right, guys. Out of, out of uh, character, we're we gonna share everything or what? That sounds fine. One less share to go around. Oh, hopefully we'll be able to get him reincarnated when we get back to town. Oh, that's gonna cost a lot. 
but it it can happen though. Are you guys cool with that? Remember you you have this. Uh, remember you heard the Baroness talking about you know Thos demanding his dragon egg back, and now yeah. you see a dragon egg. Uh, you see a dragon egg here. So. Oh, I definitely uh, wasn't going to leave that behind. Yeah, I was just that's making uh, sure the other stuff was checked out. First. Yeah. So Corbin goes over to the dragon egg. As Corbin, as you get close to the dragon egg, it it seems to uh, a small beak-like uh, part of the the dragon is starting to peck through the the egg, and then after about thirty seconds uh, or a minute of you watching this, the shell kind of just falls around the dragon, and the dragon says, "Mama." And it's taken a liking to you. He doesn't actually say mama, but uh, he gives you the look of you're his mom, and now he is attached to you, and he is basically cuddling up to you. Oh, that's awful, man. I yeah. actually speak Draconish, too. Mama. I speak Draconish. <laughs> nice. I'm going to say, don't, say, don't worry, little baby. <laughs> don't worry, little baby. Daddy's Mommy's gotcha. <laughs> Daddy's gotcha. <laughs> baby. Oh, God. Daddy's got you. <laughs> Say hello to your new familiar. <laughs> so yeah, now now you have a black dragon with you, and you have a you have a dead corpse. <laughs> Barry, it's Barry nice the trade. dragon. Nice Barry, trade. Barry, not so bright. Barry, out of character. Seriously, time out. Out of character. You should have healed yourself, man, or guzzled a potion or something. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, didn't want to say I, anything. I kept thinking it's only if I get one more hit, he's down, and then I'll be okay. And I didn't want to be, you know. I know that I'm trying to be the fighter that's there to take it. Yeah. You know? well, so you got to remember, like, your primary job is a cleric. So I, I know that that hitting shit is fun, blowing shit up is fun, and that's what everybody wants to do. But playing a a, a, a healer takes a special kind of player. You have to sacrifice having fun sometimes to play it a cleric the way a cleric should be played. And I'm not, you know, but, but you're yeah, a, but a we, war priest. So, right. but you are able to have fun and beat the shit out of everything. But you got to remember, man, you got to heal yourself, bro. Or, you know, if you see your other party members getting hit, you'll have to do the same thing there. So. I was, like I said, I thought I was going to be able to take it down. That's all right. So I was saying, trying to take my heels for the other people. I have potions. I got like three potions on me right there, just chilling. Yeah, no problem. But seeing that this is the this, we are in the season of giving, uh, I'm going to allow you to, you know, we'll say that you were unconscious and you you are now at one hit point. But I, I just wanted to. I wasn't going to tell you to heal yourself. Usually I try to tell people or give them hints, but I, I don't, I'm not going to do that anymore. I mean, you guys need to, you know, you guys need to take ownership of your classes. You need to, you know, I'm not going to play the class. I spent enough time building these maps and games and everything, and you guys need to learn your class inside and out. You guys need to learn about all your spells. You know, write it down if you have to. Do whatever. But you guys need to take ownership of those characters. And I'm not trying to be mean by saying that or anything, but, you know, like I was saying, I'm just not going to give hints and help play your character for you. So, But this time, seeing it is the season of giving, uh, I will let you uh, still be living. And uh, actually, the party was able to resuscitate you. So you are now... Uh, You've come to. You were like, man, where, where, what, what happened? All you remember was just a a big orcish axe striking you and and taking you out. So, but okay. yes, so yeah, you're you're at one hit point. Uh, the party is pretty battered right now. You guys are in pretty bad shape. Uh, what you can do is you have several options. You can do your out of combat heals which are basically free heals, and you can do that dependent on your level. So, your case, Barry, you have a 1d8 for, for every level for your hit points. So, you would 
roll a 1d8 and then add your con bonus and that's basically it's like an out of, out of combat heal you have to be out of combat to use it so you can do that depending on how many you know how high a level you are so seeing at your second level you can do two of those and then you need a long rest to get your out of combat heals back so that's how that system works so okay i'm gonna go ahead and take one of those now then okay and uh boros i think you're what a uh, monks are 1d6 and the mage is 1d6 so you guys go ahead and roll and heal yourself back up so uh where does it say is about the healing the player's guide yeah, the, it's in the, the how to, how to it's play. in the how to play the how to play yeah, guide, to play. but yeah, that's just a uh, they're called hit dice heals. So you can you can actually just roll your one d six, add your con, and that's how many hit points you get back. So okay, um, but you can do that twice, and then whenever you guys are tenth level or fifteenth level, the higher level you are, the more of those you get. So it's a pretty nice system. I'm going to go ahead and drink one of those healing potions. 2d4 plus 2, right? Yep. Yeah, it's sort of like 4th edition healing surge, actually. It's actually the same exact thing as a healing surge. Same thing, basically. It's just called nice. something else. Nice. It's just not called a healing surge. But, yeah. Oh, but to answer your question earlier there, Vicious, yes, I usually do have viewers in my games, uh, but I, I haven't done a viewer game lately. Uh, I'll probably end up doing a viewer game tomorrow, so uh, just, I mean, if, you, if you're if you following the channel, then we, we can do this you can see when I go live tomorrow. How many per day? Two times. Depend it just depends on how many how high level you are. So you're level two, you can do it two times. Once you turn level three, you can do it three times. So Okay, I'm going to use one, I used it. I took six HP back and I'm going to keep the second one. Okay. Sounds good. I'm good. Alright, so you guys are someone changed my hit points? I didn't touch any of them, actually. Okay. So your magic is actually your y'all's magic is is expended as well now. So, uh, yeah, you guys uh should probably probably take a rest. So. Yeah. I I don't know what time I'll be starting tomorrow. I would concur okay. with that. That'll work. Sure, so, I'll take a watch. Um, I know that I will be watching football tomorrow. Well, I'm pretty much fine too. So We're probably later in the afternoon. Creatures left alive. I was thinking maybe we should take them back to them, and they can explain why they stole the egg or no, they're all dead. The oh, now, now, if you guys would have engaged with role play, yeah, they they wouldn't have attacked, but you guys just burst right in there and started attacking, which is cool. I mean, that's whatever you guys wanted to do, but I would have given you the option to to role play it out. And maybe bargain for the egg or something. Well, you, from the information that we had, the egg's been stolen. Correct. So my, that, my logic was take these guys, yeah. take one life, and take him back to with the egg, and they can explain what the hell they're doing with the dragon egg. Yeah. And I thought the one in front of, of Meechin was just unconscious. The monk beat it down. And it took one arrow, and, and I think you said it fell to zero hit points, and none of us coop de grod it or killed it. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, I, I usually don't make anybody coop de grod, but usually when, you know, whenever a, a monster goes down, usually I just I just kill it. So, I mean, I don't... <clears throat> I, I like to follow the rules and stuff, but you'll notice I'm not a 100% stickler of the rules. So, uh, I don't, I, I'm not going to make you coop de grod, so it's just going to die automatically. Yeah, I'm sure he just bled out by the time you guys healed up. Yeah, so. I mean, e even so, I mean, uh, they would have probably bled out anyway, so. Okay. <clears throat> hey, what's up there, Jingle Shank? Jingle Shank! I don't like orcs, so I yeah, just you just Yeah, you just missed it, Vicious. I, I just started a, a, a new D&D 4.0 game on Thursday, and uh, I actually took four viewers and uh, found four I guess I'm gonna ask players that wanted to play of, a long-term yeah, game, and so we're, 
orc has more. You missed it though, man. Where were you like a week and a half ago? Probably could have got you in that because uh, it actually my 4.0 yeah, game filled up now? last. So yeah, we started. Yeah, two. you guys started at level two. So oh, you okay? I ninja that second level in there for you, huh? You did ninja that. That's oh. I was just noticing right now. I looked at my character. I'm like, what's going? Yeah. On? Why do I have so many hit points? Well, I told everybody, but you were you were AFK at the beginning. So oh, okay. You were watching porn. Everything's default watching. No, porn, I had to so. go get um, had to go get the lady some food, and I was trying to do everything before, and it just I was I was on my way back. That's why I made it quick. So oh, that's cool. <clears throat> now I I'm not I don't do I did so groups vicious with five and something? six players, but it's just way too way too David? much. Do what now? Sorry. I asked her if it's common that, you know, these half orcs, dwarves, you know, they're, are they, is it common for them to have them in this area, basically? Uh, well, she's actually really never seen half dwarf, half orcs, so she's kind of intrigued by that as well. Uh, she does know that the, she can tell you that, and in fact, if everybody wants to give me a, uh, a history lore check, that would be good, so... Give me a 1d20 plus wisdom. And I have a target number set in mind. And everybody above X number will... This will pertain to you, so... Jesus. <laughs> Don't feel bad, I got a 2, bro, so... <laughs> <laughs> I did barely better than you. Uh, so I need one more roll. Everybody, I said everybody. Yep, everybody give me a roll. Now I, I like to keep the games at four. I've had groups with five and six people. I'm a crit fail. It's, it's just, just something like this. Too, too. Uh, it's just too much involved with combat, and it, combat is just drug out too long. And I, I, that's why I want four people. You know, plus people talking over one another, and four people is just much more manageable. So, all right. So, Damn. very nice roll. So, Boros and Merrick, <clears throat> you and also the three of you, Meechin, you all start talking with the other group that uh, the reason for these dwarks are possibly that you have heard and have read in books and and scripts and scrolls that. The dwarves of Illifarn that actually, because remember I was saying that the elves actually built Illifarn. Well, the elves died out and the, and the dwarves moved in. Well, the dwarves started dying out as well. And the orcs started taking over and fighting the dwarves over Illifarn. Uh, there are several kings involved uh, and the dwarves actually lost Illifarn to the orcs. The orcs had the. You do remember that the orcs had the Illifarn uh, system for years, but another dwarf, one of the brothers of the king, actually had a th long three year war to actually win back Illifarn. But in, in recent history, the dwarves and the orcs are possibly interbreeding now because. Both clans are dying out, which the orgs are called the Clot Skulls, and the dwarves are just the dwarves. So to preserve both races, you think that these could be interbreeding, you know, these could be interbred uh, dwarves from the dwarves and the orcs that are within Illifarn. So that's what you guys can uh, probably put together out of all of this. Oh, God. I wasn't. I hope I wasn't too confusing by. Exploring. No, no, it's just the thought of them. Uh, yeah, them. interbreeding like that. Nope, you're totally right. So. <clears throat> yeah, man. Me too, man. Interesting. Yeah, but I've got three games. I, I was doing games well, we every day, but that dragon, was just too much. So, so I just, just do Thursday, Friday, Saturday now. And then every two or three Sundays, I'll. I'll do a. Uh, That's what I was thinking. Um. Okay. So you, you guys, guys trying to give away my baby dragon? 
What? <laughs> I'm in smaller. My familiar? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. We, I, I'm we with searched you guys. The, this little area fairly well, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah everything that you had found, uh, I basically told you what you found. So. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. No problem. All right. So this is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a like a five ten minute break real quick, and we'll come back and we'll finish up and we'll we'll probably play for about another probably 45 minutes to an hour when we get back so let's take a like a 10 minute break and we'll come back and and finish out the rest of the night because my bladder sticks and explode so <laughs> all right, all right. Cool. Sounds good all right cool. see you guys in okay. like uh, about 10 minutes and i'm going to go down to the other channel for a minute sure Alright guys, so I hope you uh, enjoyed the first part of the, the game tonight. It was it was fun and, and plus, you know, trying to you know, teach, the, you know, these guys are fairly new to D&D, a couple of them, so I'm kind of glad this did happen because this is like the, the only get out of jail free card that the group will get meaning the death of uh, the cleric. So, uh, I just want to I'm not trying to be a hard ass or a dick or anything. And, you know, plus, you know, I, I wanted him to, you know, kind of, not just him personally, but I wanted the whole group to know that, you know, you guys need to work together and, you know, I'm not going to basically hold people's hands through all of this anymore. So, like I have done in the past, and I'm, I'm just not going to do that, so... But the party actually did really well. These were level 3 orcs. And I wasn't really expecting them to attack like they did. But it could have turned out a lot worse than it did. So anyways, lesson learned. I think uh, I think they'll be fine in the future. So you guys get into the raffle. And I'm going to go ahead and take a about a 10 minute break. I'm going to... I'm not going to play any music or anything. I'm just going to... Uh, put the screen up for about 10 minutes and I'll be back. So you guys don't go anywhere and thanks to all the, the guys uh, and if there's anybody getting into the raffle just to let you know you have to be following the channel so if you're not following the channel I go right on to the next person and I don't even give you a chance so uh, you have to be following the channel just to let everybody know and we'll be doing the raffle uh, which is actually this is my last giveaway uh, tonight so I've got a couple, uh, I think I got, I think I might have one more after this. I think I'll have one more, one more pack from Greytail, I think. So I'll have to, I'll have to, to look. So but anyways, you guys get into the raffle. We'll give you guys a, a token pack tonight. Compliments of uh, Greg, Greytail.com. So thank you, Greg, for that pack. And I'll see you guys in about, about 10 minutes. See ya. Thanks for watching. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.